War. War? Well, right now? Here? I ain't fighting. Oh, ain't nobody asking you to fight. That's the name of this movie, man. No. Oh. And it's oh, the name okay. of a cool song, too. But right now, we're going to talk about the movie. All right. Let's do that. Um, now, you have Jet Li and Jason Statham. And Jason Statham's kind of becoming an action star in his own right, right? Okay, because I was about to say, I don't know who the hell that guy is. I know who Jet Li is. Jason but... Statham, the transporter. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Oh, you mean Turkish? Yeah, from... Uh, <clears throat> From yeah, sh- you, yeah, stock, stock, from, stock, from Snatch. From Snatch, yeah, that too. Yeah, <laughs> Turkish from Snatch. He's the Turkish. He's, he's the transporter. He, yeah, you know that guy. I never saw a transporter. I'm sorry. You never seen one or two? No. Okay, you ain't missing too Am much. Am I missing out? You oh, ain't okay. missing too much. All right. But anyways, but even though you you didn't see the transporter, no, the transporter and transporter one were ridiculous movies. Right. That's you, why I didn't see it. You know what's more ridiculous? What this movie? Oh well, that's too bad. Uh, two action, well, one action legend along with the transporter Turkish. Uh, they don't they don't go well together like peanut butter and chocolate. You know they. Uh, now, first of all, let's get one thing straight here. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Jet Li retired, didn't he? Didn't he um, say he wasn't going to make any more martial arts movies? That's what I read. But then again, you know these translators that translate this stuff usually doesn't come out right i assume is that what happened so they probably told him he's gonna be in a romantic comedy and now he's in war said no no i'm opening chinese restaurant it had nothing to do with that what, what? i don't know <laughs> no so you don't you haven't heard this no you? i well i i heard that he was he was planning on quitting and i thought i thought it was because he had a bad back or something and the doctors told him look you keep on jumping around and acting like a moron uh you're gonna kill yourself but Okay. Hey. Well, I guess he said he wasn't going to make any more uh, martial arts movies. Right. Or American martial arts movies. Right. That's what I heard. Too. I heard that about Jackie Chan, too, but. That ain't stopped information. Rush Hour 3 comes out? What? Huh? Yeah, exactly. So now I guess this isn't like a really a martial arts movie. This is a shitty American action movie. Oh, uh, and that's the worst. Yeah. You, dude, let me tell you something, man. Uh, first of all, if you're retired, yeah, it, it, if you're going to come out of retirement for something, Come out for something good. Don't come out for some bullshit like this. Yeah, I'm with you on that. For war? You know, come on. Yeah, hey, you know, but maybe he saw some potential and, you know, maybe this will be the the movie that finally makes his career maybe after he, all these years. What? Maybe he saw a fat paycheck and that's why he came that's, out and did this. That's true, too. You know, good boy, no. boy got to eat noodles. That's right. <laughs> That's about as racist as you can get, man. He, may, he does eat noodles. You telling me Chinese don't eat noodles? Well, I guess you got a point. They do. But... Damn right. I always got a point. <laughs> uh, now, in this movie, Jason Statham mm-hmm. plays uh, an FBI agent named Jack Crawford. You call him Jack Crawford. I'll call him Turkish. Okay. He's Turkish. Sorry. But in, in the movie, he's Jack Crawford. Okay. And he, his, his partner is brutally murdered. You know, it's always, in these kind of movies, it's never murdered. It's a RoboCop murder. <laughs> it's like, it's like brutally murdered. You know, like hand, get, hand explodes with a shotgun. And, yeah, yeah, as if being murdered ain't bad enough. You know, you gotta be br- brutally murdered. <laughs> yeah. But his, his partner is brutally murdered Ooh. by the, by the Yakuza. The, the, the Yakuza? Is that what you meant to Whatever, say? Whatever, the, the, the Japanese mafia. Yeah, the yeah, Chinese I can't cookie pronounce. mafia. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. <laughs> I need my head cut off. <laughs> but he, uh, so, his and this, his partner and his and his family they're murdered they're all murdered and so mm-hmm. he he swears he vows vengeance revenge that's right he vows vengeance on the on the assassin that went in and killed him and it turns out the assassin is some mysterious character named Rogue and in, and in this movie is played by Jet Li now okay. Jason Statham he he's so obsessed with this that three years later after he, after he still hasn't found the guy he's lost his wife you know they're divorced. Uh, he doesn't go to his kids' basketball games and you know all kind of stupid stuff like that. Mm. And but he's obsessed with finding this guy. So when evidence resurfaces that Rogue has suddenly reappeared, mm-hmm. uh, he finds this opportunity to go out and get him and bring him in and book him. Whatever you do, and bring him in for a nice for big justice, taste of justice. Okay, so we got that little basic set up here. Mm-hmm. Now here's where the movie starts getting crazy. Okay. Okay. Now. Um, Rogue, who's played by Jet Li, uh-huh. uh, he goes in and he starts this war between the Yakuza, which is the, well, however you say it, which is the Japanese mafia. Right. And then he starts uh, a, a war between the Yakuza and the Triads. Right. Those are the two most Those are terrifying the, gangs of all time. The, the, the Triads are Chinese, by the way. Right. So why, I'm not, 
I probably missed something here. Why he's doing this, I, I don't know. I don't really know why he wants to turn them against each other. Is he pulling a Yojimbo? Uh, ju- no, I was just about to say, this is sort of like a takeoff on Yojimbo. Oh. Except stupid. <laughs> Okay. Now, now <laughs> dummies version. Yeah, ex- <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because it doesn't even matter, man. Right. This is a this is strictly a man's movie right here. A man's man's movie. A man's movie. This is the kind oh. of movie you sit up there, you eat uh, steak with while <laughs> while while, ha- while you have your hand in your pants. You know. Okay. Hey, if your penis is too small, uh-huh. well, this movie can't guarantee that you will have a bigger penis, but it'll make it feel like it is while you're watching it. Oh my God, that's exactly yeah. what I need. Yeah, you don't have a penis or any balls, so we well, can, I got yeah. lots of other things, but you know. Well, this movie might make you feel like you have some for a change. I'll feel like a man for once. All right. Exactly. Now the thing is, is that. This movie is full of fast cars, topless women, a lot of blood, a lot of fighting. Just and, what I need. And guys going around either looking pissed off or got this real macho attitude. <laughs> and that's all the movie is, man. Somebody needs a nice ass whooping today. Exactly. Just Today's a, a good day for ass whoopings. Yeah, you just wake up and walk out the house and just slap the first you person you see. punch the mailman right when you see him. Exactly. Let's Give me my bills. <laughs> bills? Bills again? Get out of here. I want to blow up something. Yeah, and that's the kind of movie this is, man. Outside of that, you don't need to know any plot because this is, this is an HBO action movie there's no better version than the HBO action movies out there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and well, there is, but well, <laughs> this, yeah. this man, this is the kind of shit that you watch late night on uh-huh. Cinemax or HBO. This is the crap that your dad's up real late at night watching usually, right? Yeah. You come in like, <laughs> dad, what the hell are you watching? Dad's sitting up to have drunk. Come on in here. Watch come this. here, boy. Watch this. Yeah. Watch movie. this movie with boy, me. Yeah. You got that Chinese guy. What's his name? Uh, Chow Young. Fat. Hey, hey, <laughs> no, Fun me. Jetpack. What's his name? Lee. Yeah. 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 Whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, this is that kind of movie, man. Uh-huh. Now, like I said, watching it on TV or right. something you picked up in the cheapest section at the video store. Yeah. It's cool for that. But to ask me, they didn't screen this for critics. Okay, so I had to go. I had to pay to go you see this to shit. To, to, see to ask me to go pay for this at the theater, to get in my car and drive to the theater. No, hell no. Is that an insult to your manhood? It's, a, it's an insult. First of all, okay, I actually didn't pay for the movie. I sneaked in without getting caught. Oh, but, that's good to hear. But the thought of me having to actually uh, probably pay for the movie right. pisses me off. Right. And uh, <laughs> Those guys aren't putting food on your table. No, no, no. They ain't asking me to come see this nonsense here. And <laughs> Here's the biggest thing that pissed me off, man. Uh oh. I can't reveal the twist in this movie. Right. All right. But if you're gonna do a twist, make that shit believable, okay? What is Jet Li like a ghost or something? <laughs> just, just do. I really want to tell you what it is, cause it's it is <laughs> it is ridiculous. Oh no. It has you sitting up there saying, "What the fuck did you just pull on me?" <laughs> You expect me to believe that you could be a retarded person in a wheelchair in this movie theater. You're going to be like, I'm not that retarded. I've been bamboozled. Yeah, exactly. It's, I will. Let me. Damn, I want to. So what? You're telling me the ending just destroys the rest of the movie? Is that what you're telling me? They put a twist in this movie just because you knew somebody said, you know what people like? They like twist. Let's put a twist in this movie. So Jet Li's like a cyborg? I can't tell me? you, man. I can't. Is he a transformer? Let me, okay, I'll tell you this. It would be more believable if Jet Li turned into a fucking car and drove off oh, yeah. than what they do in this movie. <laughs> if Jet, if, if, there goes Jet Li in his career. If, if right down the highway, exactly. If Jet Li grew wings and flew off to Monster Island or something, <laughs> it would be more believable than what they do here. Oh my god, that sounds like a great movie. I want to see that movie, my friend. It ain't that crazy, man. Oh. Believe it. it ain't, wait for it on HBO. So it's your it's your dad it's your drunken dad's movie, right? Basically. Yeah. Yeah. All your right. dad is drunk and he calls you to watch a movie with him, and you actually like what he's watching. Yeah. Then you like it. Like, look at this, son. Look at that explosion. Uh, other than that, I mean, I really do want to say, if you okay, okay I'm gonna be fair here. Yeah, be fair. If you are an action fan, and that's all you want out of a movie, you don't give a damn about anything else. You think about body count, explosions, brass, titties. Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, then this is your movie. I still wouldn't go to the theater to watch it because chances are, if you're that kind of person, you ain't got no money anyway. Okay. So just you rent it and watch it at home. You steal it. All right. Yeah. For everybody else, it's some old bullshit, man. Mm, well, there's plenty of that these days. Plenty of that to go around. And this is part of it. Boy. You ain't got nothing else to say? Let's go blow something up.